If you or anybody you know of has been diagnosed with a condition known as Parkinson's disease, then you probably have heard of L-DOPA. L-DOPA is basically a precursor to a neurotransmitter in the brain known as dopamine. Uh, dopamine is actually present throughout the body, not just in the brain. Um, but in the case of Parkinson's, the part of the brain that makes dopamine, it's known as the substantia nigra. Uh, this is, this, the function of this part of the brain becomes hampered. And as a result, these patients don't make dopamine, and or at least their, their ability to produce dopamine is significantly hampered, and uh, they have to then take medication uh, in the form of L-DOPA to uh, regain many of their uh, functions. Um, and so what happens is uh, dopamine is supplemented through pharmaceutical preparations, but they're natural things that have proven to be even more effective and have been extensively studied. Uh, and a lot of people actually know about this, uh, but uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm going to be sharing it here with you today. Uh, so firstly, what is L-DOPA? It's, it's a precursor to a neurotransmitter. It's an amino acid uh, that becomes dopamine. Uh, and it's useful in the treatment of Parkinson's. It's also useful in the treatment of other conditions, like if there's um, high levels of prolactin in the body and certain hormone uh, irregularities, it can help for that as well. Uh, at least the in the form that I'm going to be sh uh, sharing with you today. And so uh, what happens is there's a slight problem with L-DOPA. It has a hard time getting to the brain because it, can, it gets metabolized in the body itself. It's used for many functions. Uh, and what happens is by the time it gets to the brain, it becomes converted into dopamine already. And dopamine cannot get through the blood-brain barrier, but L-DOPA can. So the goal is to keep L-DOPA in the form of L-DOPA and prevent it from becoming dopamine before it gets to the brain. Uh, and that's where carbidopa comes in. Carbidopa is a substance that prevents the breakdown of, uh, of L-DOPA and the conversion of it into dopamine. Uh, so where do we get it from? We can get L-DOPA in large quantities from a medicinal herb known as Mucuna pruriens. Please go ahead and look this up. I've also shared a ton of uh, clinical st uh, studies in the description of this video, clinical trials, comparative clinical trials where this herb was compared to uh, the standard pharmaceutical L-DOPA and it was found to be more effective. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's basically a medicinal plant that is used in Ayurvedic medicine. It's been used for thousands of years and it's used for treating multiple different disorders and it's found to be highly effective. Uh, so it's also known as velvet bean or kapikachu. It grows down in Madagascar, certain parts of Africa, and then in India. And um, it's mainly being marketed for the use for its use in our, in Parkinson's disease. However, there's a lot of garbage supplements out there. It's something that's very important for you to keep in mind. Just because you go to the store and you buy something that says Mukuna Purians on it doesn't mean it's going to work. Majority of the supplements you buy out there are absolute garbage. Majority of the, especially when it comes to Makuna Purians. Um, and I have found that, that there's only two brands that I found here in the U.S. that actually have significant uh, results. So one is not even manufactured in the U.S. Um, but <clears throat> I strongly suggest you use this under the supervision of an Ayurvedic doctor because you can screw up, you most likely will, and then you're going to blame the medicinal herb or you're going to blame me. No. If you take it on your own, you are responsible. You need to go to somebody who knows how to use it, has experience with long-term usage of this. Uh, so that's L-DOPA, that's where you can get it. The other source of L-DOPA is also a source of carbidopa, and that is fava beans. And it's interesting because Mukuna Purian is known as velvet bean. It, these are both beans and they, they contain everything you need for Parkinson's. In fact, Mukuna Purians also has serotonin in the pods. Uh, as well as co coenzyme Q10, and um, it even has um, dimethyltryptamine, uh, but we're not going to get into that. Uh, so, fava beans contains uh, carbidopa and L-DOPA, and it's best to use it in uh, the sprouted form or its fresh form. Don't get that stuff that's been stored and dried out that you buy in the stores. Uh, get it fresh or, or sprouted, and what will happen is you'll get a lot more uh, carbidopa and L-DOPA out from it. Make sure you do this under the supervision of somebody who is trained in it, meaning your doctor, an Ayurvedic doctor, a nutritionist. You, you have to understand one thing when it comes to chronic diseases. 
chronic diseases are considered, most of them are considered to be incurable. They are manageable. But there are many different modalities out there that have proven to manage conditions effectively. And in my opinion, they work more effectively when you combine them. But in order to combine them, you got to know what you're doing. So go to professionals. Uh, so you can get your L-Dopa from Makuna Purians. You can get your L-Dopa and your Carbidopa from Fava Beans. I've posted clinical studies as well as experimental research in the description below. So you can see that these are actual sources of... Um, L-Dopa and Carbidopa and that they work in human research, not rat studies, not animals, not test tubes. No, it's been tested in humans, found to be effective. And uh, again, please use this under the proper supervision. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's that's my take on L-Dopa and Carbidopa. I hope this information helps you. If you'd like to get in touch with me, uh, my website is drnishal.com. I do online consults uh, via video calls. Uh, so no, no matter where you are in the world, you can come to me. I can help you. And I will see you in the next video.